Thanks for joining us to investigate how Yamaha Unified Communications can help you to prepare your workspace for a hybrid working future. Catering for a mix of both office-based and remote working through truly strong audio communication solutions. I'm Rhys and I look after business development for Yamaha UC within the United Kingdom. Also joining us today will be my colleague Scott Coltham who is our UC and install application specialist. So what do we mean by catering for a hybrid working future? Well, we'll be investigating how we can help to provide an end-to-end -end solution for any corporate rollout, from personal offices to boardrooms and beyond. We'll look at some of the key considerations which are universal to each space, alongside how individually each space's requirements can be catered for from the Yamaha UC range. Before we jump into the core subjects of this conference, it is important to explore the context and the history of the brand, including some of the legacy Yamaha currently holds within the UC space. Yamaha entered the UC marketplace in 2006, quickly becoming one of the top providers of speakerphones within the Japanese marketplace and within 2007, becoming the number one ranked provider of speakerphones. This is a position that we still hold. This quality was built from an inbuilt R&D perspective within the field of the corporate marketplace. We were able to focus and visit a cluster of customers within the Tokyo region. This geographical convenience allowed us to build our DSP algorithms via almost weekly visits. Following on from this, Yamaha decided to make its commitment to the unified communications market global. And with the acquisition of Revo Labs in 2014, this was a big step within this process. Now, following on from the acquisition of Revo Labs, Yamaha UC was established within 2017. In 2018, established itself in the US marketplace and as early as 2019, merged with Yamaha Music within the European space. Now, here at Yamaha, we are always pushing to drive innovative, new solutions for complex issues. One of these is the new Odessia ceiling solution, which you will see throughout our design process. We're strong believers that in a VC environment, without video, you can still have a very successful meeting, but without audio, we become lost. So now I'm gonna pass you to Scott, who'll start to talk us through our design process and our theoretical office. I hope you find the following both educational and entertaining, and thank you again for joining us. Hi everyone, and thanks again for joining us today. As Rhys mentioned, I'm Scott and I'm the application specialist for both Yamaha Commercial Installed Solutions and Unified Communications. Today we'll be looking at how to tackle a hybrid workspace project, making sure that high quality audio is prioritised for the best meeting experience, both at the near end and for the remote participants. We have a diagrammatic overview of a workspace. As you can see, there are multiple locations with different requirements, both acoustically and from a user perspective. So we'll go over these locations individually to tackle each potential problem and make sure that they are solved within the design process. So, to understand the best way to approach our design process, we have to take into account some overarching and universal conditions. And these will move from space to space as we explore our office environment. So what are some of these conditions and how can we best remedy them with Yamaha UC? Well, firstly, Let's take into account the fact that, from an acoustic perspective, offices are not inherently built to be brilliant. In fact, we can run into quite a few issues in boardrooms and meeting rooms with hard walls, glass doors, glass everywhere a lot of the time. So acoustics is always going to be something that we have to take into account. Following on from this, how about product manageability? How easy is it to centrally manage a product, or alternatively, how easy is it for a user to become self-sufficient? If you're an IT manager and you're having to field support calls on a daily basis, it will become unmanageable. 
So the more self-sufficient a user can become, the better it is for the end customer. This is something that we sometimes overlook within our industry, only because of the industry that we serve. We're all relatively technically minded, but if we can be more empathetic with a use case who maybe is less technically astute, then it'll allow us to guide a more fluid and successful rollout. Now, thirdly, we do have to take into account the product quality. What legacy has been held in terms of audio manufacture? And will we simply be moving an issue from one internal or external device to another? Fourthly, we also have to look at aesthetics and comfort. How comfortable is it for a user to utilize a product? And in terms of the comfort, will that give them a better meeting experience, therefore allowing them to do their job? And from an aesthetics perspective, we have to consider that sometimes key decision makers will look at this as the most important factor. In fact, sometimes without even looking at some of the considerations that we've already talked about. So we have to make sure that we are empathetic to both the comfort and aesthetic use cases. So let's have a look at our office space. Let's go from each area to each area and let's understand how Yamaha UC can help to remedy some of the issues that we've looked at already. Thanks, Rhys. When looking at our diagram, it's probably best to start with a simple user case, the private office. Now, obviously, this is only one instance, but this can be replicated and rolled out as many times as needed. Within this space, we have to consider the user more than anything. How is this going to complement their work style? And more importantly, how is it going to enhance their working experience? So let's look at what we need to achieve in this space. We need high quality audio for input and output that isn't obtrusive to the user and takes into account all of the points we've already raised. In this instance, we would certainly be looking at one of our USB plug and play speakerphones, either our YVC200 or YVC330. Let's focus on the YVC200 for now. This is a personal speakerphone with simple USB connectivity. Now, how does this match up against the points we raised earlier? Let's visit the space and you can hear for yourself. Thanks, Scott. As you can see, I'm now sat in the personal office space and I have the unit sitting here in front of me, the Yamaha YVC200. We'll be utilising this unit throughout this segment to give a true representation of the audio on the far end of a call. So, to our points. Firstly, the acoustic considerations. Acoustically, this space isn't ideal. You can see that there are glass walls, so very reflective, alongside an open ceiling in an open plan office. So why would we choose a YVC200 for this space? And how does it tackle the acoustic issues created within? Well, as I said a moment ago, we're utilizing the unit right now, and hopefully you can hear that the acoustics of this space are not causing us any issues. This is due to some of the clever digital signal processing technology going on inside of the speakerphone itself. We're utilizing adaptive echo cancellation to make sure that I'm clear on the call and there isn't any echo type presence to distract others included. This is alongside noise reduction, automatic gain control and human voice activity detection, which will help to pick out my vocal against any background noise and prioritize what's important, which in this instance, would be clear communication from me with my colleagues or my clients. The full range speaker for output also means I'm getting a crystal clear response so I can be involved and attentive during any meeting. So we can safely say we've looked after our acoustic considerations within this space, but how about management? Well, as we've discussed earlier, this has to be an easy to manage unit so that the workers in a personal space be it at home or at the office, can be self-sufficient. So what is the easiest way to connect to any meeting software? USB. True plug and play and software agnostic is precisely what this unit offers. The USB connectivity charges the onboard lithium ion battery, but also utilizes the drivers within the host PC operating system. Therefore, plug it in and within 20 seconds, you're meeting. We do, however, have some other easy to use connections on the unit, 
including Bluetooth, which we're currently using, and NFC for quick connection of external devices. There is a headset connection for calls which need to be more confidential. All of these are easy to connect to and manage for users of, of any technological level. This is because the operation of the unit is as easy as any home device. As an example, for Bluetooth connection, it's simply a press and search, and your call audio will always take priority over media playback. Therefore, no interaction is necessary when a new meeting request comes in for the user. Finally, the easy to understand buttons on top of the unit, touch sensitive, including volume up and down, call answer and hang up, audio output mute, and an LED indicated audio input mute make this an extremely easy to understand and control piece of hardware. I think we can safely say the management factor within our considerations has been met. Roll this out to users and they'll have a significantly improved experience without any of the required support. So we've covered management and we've covered acoustics. How about our product quality? Well, Hopefully, the unit speaks for itself. As I stated earlier, I'm using it now. The onboard full range output speaker with uh, output from 200 hertz to 16 kilohertz and the omnidirectional microphone make this a very strong offering from an audio perspective. Yamaha's legacy is in music and not just creating, but the faithful reproduction of that music, keeping true to the core sound. Utilising this legacy and extensive wisdom of our research and development department, we've been able to transfer these expertise and create an extremely effective and high quality personal unit. So this certainly covers our quality question. Finally, in terms of the aesthetic and comfort, you can see this is an unobtrusive and elegant unit in design. With the omnidirectional pickup pattern of the microphone, this can be placed anywhere within the space and still be usable. This certainly helps with factors such as desk space. In terms of comfort for utilisation, unlike something such as a headset, which can become quickly quite fatiguing when used throughout the day, it's extremely comfortable for a user with almost no interaction needed. And finally, if the office chair is getting too much, take a wander around the office or the home office, or even take this on the road with the 10 hour battery life. Thanks for that, Rhys. So as you can see, it's no problem whatsoever to manage a private office or small workspace with one of our YVC 200s. Now let's look at a slightly larger space within our setup. How about a more open communal environment such as a canteen? Consider a scenario. You need to have a meeting quickly. There are no spaces or dedicated meeting rooms available. However, you don't want to miss the opportunity, so decide to grab a free table. How would we handle this? Well, we need to consider our four main points of interest acoustics, management, quality and aesthetics. With a communal space such as a canteen, these could all present significant hurdles. So we'll need to delve a little further into the YVC range and look at the YVC 330 speakerphone. This could be permanently placed in a breakout area, for example, but let's use a more transient space such as a dining area. For the purpose of our demonstration, this provides a much more interesting and challenging environment. With hard walls, surfaces, tiled floors, large expanses of glass and a metal roof, there's potential for a lot of ambient noise and bad acoustics. This area would normally raise concerns, which is precisely why we would choose the YVC 330 speakerphone. With onboard audio processing, it's ideal for spaces like this. Namely, the unit comes equipped with proprietary technology called SoundCap. SoundCap acts as a far field noise reducer and will prioritize the audio of the person speaking rather than environmental noise. This works by calculating the distance of the source of the sound and attenuating sounds outside of the pickup range, which is within one meter's radius. This ensures voices within one meter are captured and delivered clearly to remote participants. Combine this with the DSP functionalities previously mentioned on the YBC 200, as well as the self-balancing speaker volume and the automated mute functionality we are certainly able to account for a space such as this, which fulfills our acoustic criteria. Before we take a closer look at the space, let's also consider our management aspect. This is very similar to the YBC 200, true plug and play functionality, completely software agnostic, 
and USB powered, therefore utilizing standard drivers, meaning it's up and running within seconds. Once again, there are Bluetooth, NFC, and audio input and output options, which offer great flexibility. In terms of buttons, we have volume up and down, input mute, Bluetooth connection, as well as a call, answer, and hang up. This has a very similar functionality to the YBC200, so it's just as easy to roll out from a management perspective. Once again, fulfilling our criteria. Now we'll go over to Reese to check out the quality, the aesthetics, and the comfort of using the unit. As you can see, I'm in our canteen area. Very echoey, very difficult acoustically. As Scott has also said, as the environmental noise has increased, my self-balancing speaker output will also increase. This helps to make sure I have clarity within the meeting I'm running or attending. So let's now address our quality and our aesthetics points. We can actually do both of these together as the quality and legacy we have speaks for itself here. Just by engaging that sound cap and working it together with the auto mute functionality and other DSP options makes this an extremely high quality unit. Pair that with the sleek design of the unit, which is low profile, therefore non-obtrusive on a meeting space table, but also therefore easily movable, our aesthetics and comfort are certainly a point which we can count as fulfilled. But before we move forwards from this, let's also look at how I am presenting. I'm not having to lean over the unit for you to hear me, or for me to hear the far end. This is truly a comfortable experience as a user and allows me to concentrate fully on the subject matter at hand. Thanks, Rhys. Now, moving on from the open spaces or smaller private offices, how about something which is key in most office buildings, the huddle room? Huddle rooms normally require both audio and video for collaborative conferences. In many cases, audio and video are incorporated into the same product rather than separate components. When considering this space, we definitely look at the CS700 video collaboration soundbar with the optional wireless extension microphone. Why would we choose the CS700? Well, although this isn't part of the YBC range, it still fits with the same technology principles. Bring your own device, USB plug and play. So let's explore our space and what makes this the correct choice. Firstly, our acoustics, although better than the communal area, the space still has a hard floor, hard walls, and a lot of glass, which makes it quite reverberant. Luckily, the CS700 tackles this from both input and output perspectives. Now within the space, we'll place the unit directly under the presentation screen. The onboard beamforming microphone array will intelligently track and focus on participants within the meeting, widening and narrowing depending on who is speaking. As the reaction time of the beam is extremely fast, this ensures the beginning and end of the speech isn't missed. Due to the highly focused pickup of the array, it also means that the relationship between actual signal and background noise is greatly improved. This enhances the audio clarity no matter what the acoustics are like. For larger huddle rooms, such as the room we have here, we would also suggest including one of our wireless microphone kits. Reese will demonstrate this in a short while. Combine the wireless microphone and the beamforming array with the superior output of the four onboard speaker elements, it's fair to say we've covered the acoustic requirement. Reese will be able to show you this within the room. However, before we get to that, let's also consider the management of the unit. As I stated earlier, the CS700 follows similar management principles of the YVC range. Front panel functions include volume up and down, audio mute, camera mute, Bluetooth and NFC. However, this is where it departs from the YVC range, with the inclusion of a camera control and remote management system. The integrated remote management capability makes it easier for IT departments to monitor, manage and upgrade, even down to locking out the front panel options and powering the unit on and off. But how about if we rolled out hundreds of these units? These would still be manageable through the network port on the back of the unit. This allows for remote updates meaning a much easier process for IT management to keep meeting rooms online. So we've covered the CS700's acoustics and management criteria. 
let's hear what it sounds like in the room and also get a feel for the quality of the onboard camera. Thanks Scott. So we've covered off our acoustics and our management points very well there and described some of the reasoning for why we would choose to put a CS700 into this space. But let's also consider the points of quality and of aesthetics. Well, firstly, on the quality side of things, you're currently listening to the unit. I'm utilising one of the extension microphone kits as a lapel microphone within this space. This works remotely with the onboard beam forming microphone array and will seamlessly integrate the two sources together for one extremely clear and concise message. Hopefully this does the quality of the unit justice. However, to add to this, we also have a wide angle lens camera, ideal for huddle spaces. The 120 degree wide pickup will allow everyone within the huddle space to be clearly seen and takes away the need for manual PTZ. So this more than adequately covers our quality point, but a final note before we move away from this. This unit houses four speaker elements and the ability to add a bass boost, treble boost and voice enhancement mode, which all hinge on Yamaha's legacy in soundbar technology. So we clearly have a strong and high quality product here. So finally, from the aesthetic perspective, you can see this as a high gloss, striking image, bold and modern to fit into a lot of new office spaces. The bracketry, which is included with this, sits behind the unit so that it completely disappears, giving it almost a look of being fixed directly to the wall. All in all, very impressive and easy to utilise. Thanks for that, Rhys. Now that we're going to move to the final two spaces of our theoretical project. These are both boardrooms, each showing different types of conference technology. Firstly, let's look at our more traditional tabletop-based boardroom solution. It should be noted that some users are steering away from the tabletop hands-on solutions. However, there is still a need for a portable flexible option that can be deployed to another room if necessary or scaled in size when required. Taking this into consideration, I would specify the YVC 1000. This is another USB based solution and part of the YVC family, therefore following the same principles. This is ideal for meetings of up to 40 people, but can be scaled down for smaller meetings if necessary. In this example, we've attached three extension microphones to cover a table that can accommodate up to 16 people. So considering our four main areas of interest, why would we choose the YVC 1000? Let's go over to Reese to talk us through some of the key points. Thanks for that, Scott. So, as you can see here, we have the YVC 1000 set up on our boardroom table, comfortably covered with three microphones and one base unit. Now, considering our overarching points, the acoustics of the space are very similar to that of the room with the CS700. However, the YVC 1000 has a unique feature within our YVC USB plug and play range to tackle this. The YVC 1000 has an auto tune function. Simply put, hit the auto tune button on top of the unit. This will send out a set of impulse responses and listen to the space. It will then tune not only the input, but also the output of the unit to create the best quality meeting experience for both the near end and far end of the call. This auto tune functionality is coupled with a host of DSP features, which have appeared in the rest of the YVC range. These include AEC and noise reduction to really ta tackle a difficult acoustic environment. But the auto tune functionality really does set this apart and makes this usable in some pretty large spaces. Considering that covers our acoustics point, how about management? Well, as you can see, this unit is actually slightly different to the other products that we've looked at. Rather than being one standalone unit, this is made up of a base soundbar and extension microphones, which makes this an extremely flexible and scalable solution to manage. 
To increase the range, all you do is add another microphone. To decrease, remove. This doesn't take a degree in technology to achieve either. For the user, it's simply an RJ45 connection to daisy chain them together. This means the unit can look after between one and 40 people and can be easily configured within a space, dependent on its requirement changes. Through the easy to navigate connections, which are the usual Bluetooth, NFC that we've seen so far, this is an easy unit for the user to connect to. However, the audio input and output options also mean this can be easily tied into a room system, therefore working in collaboration with or instead of a pre-installed solution, easily managed by button presses on the unit. And finally, the connection for the user. It doesn't make for great TV, but it's USB plug and play again. Software agnostic, using the OS drivers in exactly the same manner. In this instance, I think we have more than covered our management. So how about quality? Well, the quality of the unit is self-evident through this recording. I've tuned this to the room prior to us running the recording session, and you can hear the clarity on this call, especially considering the difficult acoustic environment we find ourselves in. On top of this, the output quality benefits once again from our legacy in soundbar technology. And finally, aesthetics and comfort. Well, from a user perspective, this is extremely comfortable to use with easy buttons for control on the base unit, but also with each microphone having a system mute button with LED lighting to display status. As you can see in this setup as well, this looks extremely unobtrusive on a table. With the microphones in the middle of the table, I can quite easily fit a laptop, notebook, and anything else I may need in my personal space without even considering the microphone positioning. This is truly a strong, flexible, and scalable solution for any medium-sized boardroom space. So finally, we've reached the last room in our corporate rollout. Let's just take a moment to recap the spaces we've looked at so far. A private office, a communal open plan area, a huddle room, a traditional boardroom, and finally, an integrated boardroom. The reason for showing this goes back to our original point that different situations call for different solutions. A lot of users of boardrooms now don't want microphones positioned on the tabletop. So how would we get round this whilst maintaining a high quality audio system? Well, the best solution would be an automated ceiling microphone that has a good coverage high quality audio processing and intelligent enough to make it easy to install. For this space, I would definitely recommend the new Odessia system. This is a blend of unified communications products and certain components from our commercial install range. A new ceiling microphone and processing core integrate with PoE installation speakers and a network switch, which are connected together via Dante networked audio. I've actually been using the Odessia system throughout this video. So you've been hearing the product itself. However, what would make us choose something along these lines? And how does this fare against the points we've raised and the checklist for a larger scale rollout? Reese is now going to join me in the boardroom to explain more about the Odessia system. Hi, Scott. So, when it comes to our acoustic considerations, you can see this is a hard walled room with windows on two sides, much like the last space. The unit we are using can look after a room size of 50 meters squared on its own, with the addition of a secondary microphone to increase this range. In our example space, we are using just the one microphone head, but much like the YVC 1000, through DSP inbuilt to the microphone itself, a set of impulse responses will allow the auto-tune functionality to read the acoustic properties of a room, then tune itself for an optimized experience for both the far end and near end of a call. There is a four beam array made up of 64 microphone capsules in a spiral pattern. 
This intelligently repurposes dependent on how many participants are within a space. Couple this with the human voice activity detection, noise reduction, de-reverberation and AEC, and the result is an extremely potent piece of equipment for upgrading a meeting space's acoustics. We can certainly consider that point covered, but how about the management? Well, let's start by considering that the DSP functionalities are actually inbuilt to the microphone head, therefore saving significant DSP space, allowing multiple units to be run back to one centralized brain for an entire building's system. The only limitation is the number of Dante channels available. This would allow for a multi-room audio system being controlled by one central unit, very easily manageable. However, if a more separate room management is what the project requires, then the setup we have here is more akin to this. By using the supplied core processor, the setup software has only five steps, one of which is a welcome and another of which is a well done. When it comes to self-management for users, it's as simple as plug in the USB cable and we're up and running. If you'd like to pair a Bluetooth device to bridge in a call, for example, this can also be done easily from the front panel of the core processing unit. This certainly displays some of the ease of management tools with a lot more functionality to be explored in the future. So we can certainly cover off our management consideration. When it comes to quality, once again, it speaks for itself. As Scott has said, he has been utilizing this unit throughout the process of talking through our project. However, you won't notice the difference between Scott's softly spoken voice and my rather louder, more projected vocal. And this is because of Adesia's auto gain control. Quality and longevity of proposition would certainly not be questionable with this, the newest addition to the range installed. Finally, from our aesthetic perspective, this unit comes with a backing template. Simply cut the plywood and this template will fit into a ceiling grid. This allows for easy installation, but also a very clean look. This can also be mounted in three ways, flush, visa, or by wire hang. The units come in black or white, but can also be painted with any RAL color to fit the aesthetic of any space. This also takes product off the table, making it an extremely effective and out of sight unit. So that completes our corporate rollout theory, and we hope this has been educational and entertaining. As Yamaha UC, we are here to support any such projects. As we start to see this hybrid workspace become the norm, the requirement will be for UC systems that are just as effective as being in a room with colleagues and with clients. Thanks again, and we look forward to speaking to you soon.